The globe called 19 deaths toll surpasses 1 million, and the confirmed cases of COVID-19 is more than 33 million. And this is a devastating number. And the COVID-19 infection affects both rich nations and poor nations. And there is no any discrimination on this. So today I would like to use this video to memorize those who suffer from the COVID-19 pandemic, partic particularly those who lost their lives. And let's uh, look at this uh, case situation together. Uh, in the January, China recorded the first ca few cases of COVID-19 or coronavirus death. And this virus was represented in China during January and February. And by the middle of February, and there's a significant cases in inside China and due to the season and this is a Chinese New Year there was huge number of traveling in our country and the diseases is rapidly spread on China and caused a lot of deaths in February and by the middle of February the diet spike spiked in China and reached more than 2,000 deaths. And meanwhile, the disease is rapidly spread to East Asia and Oceania countries. And by March, the disease is rapidly spread to European countries. Italy become the epicenter of the pandemic and, and during the March the total deaths rapidly raised to more than 15,000. In April and the virus we started to see in uh, America, partic particularly in New York City area and uh, become New York rapidly become the epicenter of this pandemic cases surge and the death is spike and in the May this disease caused more than 300,000 deaths most of the deaths is from European countries and, and North America during the June the virus continues to spread in North America include rest part of the United States and also in Canada, Mexico. And that is a cause close to half million deaths. And by July, and the disease continues to spread to Middle East and North, North Africa. And also, this, the disease spread to South America and Brazil is the worst hit area. And in the Brazil, the cases grow very rapidly, and the deaths also peak in July. And by the by August, there's more than six hundred thousand lives lost. And also during the months of August and the disease continues to spread to sub-Saharan Africa and cause serious outcome. And right now we are in September and it looks like that India has now become this epicenter of the pandemic and uh, India's daily deaths can overtake the United States in September. And right now we have lost more than one million lives and this is a really really 
serious serious situation and it's very tough for any country because with North Hemisphere flu season approaching and with cases and hospitalization increase, many countries find themselves struggling to strike the right balance between protect the public health and protecting personal liberty and protecting the economics and it's so tough to get the right balance but in my opinion that life people's lives still utmost important we need to protect people's lives make sure that everyone will be healthy and have not impact by this disease and in the United, in, in the United States as resurgence of viral cases in the Midwest and in the Mountain West state is providing a preview of tough winter months ahead and that the winter has come people will stay in the more times and so the virus can be survived longer times and there are more chance to spread and there's a high risk that people get infected by this virus. As a matter of fact, cases count in many of states in the United States are spiking and recent fears of the second wave of infection will come very soon. And this is a really, really an important question for any, everyone. So I think everyone needs to take the um, precaution and to protect first yourself and then other people. And so the knowledge we have on this virus is accumulated rapidly. And we know the social distance is one of the most important to prevent spread of this virus. And also that we need to have really, really to make you healthy. And because, and if you have strong Im immunity, and it's likely that you will have high potential to protect yourself from this virus infection. And this is a fact. And also, a lot of scientific studies indicate that. And among the people which are infected by the virus, only less than 10 people will get sick. And that indicates that if you are healthy, you have protected immunity, and you should have a good chance to survive this virus infection. And I sincerely sincere, sincere wish everyone have good health and and also good luck. Let's work together to fight this virus. And in the end, we are going to win this war. And but everyone need to fight hard. And fight best for yourself and for you for the people you love. And that's video for today. I wish to see you in my next video. Bye.